Today, we're making a giant walking jack-o'-lantern that'll look perfect in your Halloween decorations. This pumpkin creature is almost six feet tall and it's rated for outdoor use. So join me for this step-by-step -step tutorial. To begin making our walking jack-o'-lantern, we need foam blocks. Now I made a quick tutorial on where to find these blocks. Some places have them, others don't, but there's a drop-down link right there that'll come down. Click the link and it'll show you where to find these blocks. We're gonna need four of these blocks. Next, we need to glue them together. Now normally I would use expanding foam. The issue with expanding foam is when you grab two blocks and you put them together, it'll separate ever so slightly, which will mean you'll need more material to fill in those cracks. So instead, I use Styro Goo. This is sold by the Hot Wire Foam Factory. I link everything that I use on this channel in the description below. On the bottom of this video, click more and it shows you all the links to everything I buy. This glue doesn't expand, but it's meant for things such as styrofoam or foam blocks. So I'm just going to put a generous amount of foam, uh, I'm sorry, of glue right here. We're gonna grab our blocks and we're going to rub them back and forth so that it you know, gets a good ad adhesion right there. Then we're gonna put more glue on the sides. Then we're gonna put all four blocks together. And this takes, I would say a full day for it to dry. So let it rest overnight. And tomorrow we can start carving this and making this into a nice pumpkin. Next, we're gonna need PVC. We're gonna be using three quarter of an inch PVC. We need three full pieces. Each piece we're gonna cut to about eight feet, but if you want it to be shorter, you can cut them shorter, but let's cut them to eight feet and then let's get our heat gun so we can start molding them. I wanted to take a quick moment to mention the first book I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. It's rated for kids ages two to six years old, and it follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. If anyone wants to support me or read it to their little ones, go check it out, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. While we wait for our foam blocks to dry, we need to grab our three quarter inch PVC and we need to start bending it. Now I cut this PVC to about eight feet, but it's not gonna be eight feet tall because this part of the top needs to turn into the actual stem. So all three PVC pipes we're gonna use are gonna tie into the stem at the top to make it look like it sprouted, you know, branches from its stem and it's, you know, crawling or walking. So we're gonna grab our heat gun and at various different areas, we're going to apply heat and we're going to bend the pipe. We don't want it to be this rigid straight pipe over here. We want it to have twists and turns to make it more natural, make it look more like a vine or a branch that's coming out the rest. We're gonna do something different. I'm gonna try using the Loctite method. That is using expanding foam, the Loctite brand, and putting it all along the pipe after you've bent it and then once it dries, you can shave off the pieces to give it a smoother look. We're gonna try that. We've never done that before on this channel, but first time for everything, so let's start bending it with our heat gun. So now that we've twisted our PVC, this is what we have. We're gonna lay it down on the floor and next we're gonna start applying expanding foam on it. We're using Loctite expanding foam, but first we need to put some tape on this to give it a sort of a shelf for the expanding foam to rest on so that it doesn't spill over to the sides. We're gonna do it to two different sides. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have my tape right here and what we're gonna do is simply apply pieces of tape to the edges like this 
like that. So we can create a shelf for the expanding foam to rest on. So that way when we put the expanding foam it doesn't spill over to the ground. Once we do it to the whole pipe we're going to apply the expanding foam on one side. After about 15, maybe 20 minutes we're going to turn it over and do the exact same thing to the other side but we don't need to add tape because we'll have that expanding foam that already dry to this side. So now that we've covered it all with tape, grab your Loctite and after you've shaken it really good, you start applying it. Okay, now this part is very important. Once you've applied the expanding foam, grab your bottle of water. We're going to spray the entire thing down. Just like that. Bam, we got it wet and we spray the rest of it down. We put a timer for three minutes. After three minutes, put a latex glove on and we're going to start pushing it down to give it a better form. Right then, after three minutes have passed, I wet my latex glove and we're just going to start patting it down just like this. You want to do this to get rid of the bumps and to flatten it out or to shape it better around the PVC pipe. So keep doing that till you get the shape you want. And we're going to wait about 15 minutes after we pat it down. We'll turn it over, do the exact same thing all over again. Our blocks have been drying overnight and this is what you should have, a solid big block. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hot wire. Now this hot wire that I use is a little bit on the pricier side, but it, since I use so much styrofoam, it's totally worth it. I'm going to link the one I use below. It is a 36 inch bow. It's huge, it's super hot, and it slices through this like butter with minimal mess. So we're going to grab it and we're going to start taking away chunks and pieces here and there. We're going to try to make this more of a rounder pumpkin like shape. So you want to take the corners off, you want to take the sides off and just start cutting away. Once we get a rounder shape we can work with that and then we can start making the ribs to this pumpkin. Real quickly, I wanted to show you how easy it is to carve out the styrofoam from a solid sphere like this. So we're only going, we're going to trace it out about two to three inches. Once we trace it out completely with our insulation foam cutting knife, then we just cut into it. We cut into it like that and we break off the pieces. It is super simple to break it off. Just wherever you're cutting, make sure you go to the same depth that you went before. And just like that, it'll come off super, super simple. Bam. And then we just clean up the inside and we'll do the same thing to everything else. So this is coming out really nicely. Now that we've done the face, we're going to start drawing the ribs for the pumpkin. You can put as many ribs as you want, but remember, the seam that connects the blocks together 
needs to be a rib so that it blends in nicely. So we have the first rib here, it's gonna go right there. So the next one, we can go with our marker, come just like this, come right down there, and come all the way down here. And we're gonna do that throughout the entire pumpkin. And we're just gonna keep on going like that. See right here, the seam, you can see it right here. That's going to be a rib as well. So just keep on doing it until you get the amount of ribs that you want. To finish off this pumpkin, all we're gonna do is paint it orange. Now you can use any shade of orange. The orange I'm using is actually a custom color. I got a piece of pumpkin, I took it to Lowe's and they color matched it. So I don't have a name for it, but we're gonna paint it orange. The inside is gonna be black, so I'm not gonna paint this orange, the nose, the mouth either. And then the ribs, we're gonna paint them a darker shade of orange. So I normally mix orange with a little bit of brown to make it darker and then we're going to shade in the rib areas to give it that nice differentiating color. So once we do that we can move on to the next step. All right so let me talk real quick what we're doing here. I've put the pumpkin on top of a box. Just use uh, something to prop it up so we can do this. We've attached it all with zip ties but nothing is glued together. In fact this comes off really easily. I'm just using the largest piece of PVC We've made a hole in the top and we're simply putting it inside like that. But we're going to be using Loctite foam, the same foam we used over here, we're going to use on the inside. We're gonna put Loctite foam in there, a little bit inside, push this back down, and then we're going to spray Loctite foam all around here, all around here, covering all the PVC, cover it all. Once we're done covering it, we spray it with our water bottle, we spray it and we let it rest for about three minutes. The same exact method we used on these, we're gonna use here. Once you've sprayed it and you've waited three minutes, we'll get our gloved hand and we'll start forming it so it all combines and gets solid. And then we can paint it. Once we're done with that, we're basically almost done. So remember, when we're putting the foam up here, you can form it to give it a stem-like look. You're gonna see how we do it with the time-lapse and it'll be done so easy. We're using three legs for stability, so make sure you adjust it accordingly. So once you take off the box or whatever you're holding it up with, that it'll be able to stand on its own. <laughs> All right, so it's been a little over three minutes. We're going to wet our latex gloves with the same water we used. And then we're gonna start tapping it down. See, and it leaves nothing on your hands because we sprayed it with water. So now is where we're going to start molding it and pushing it down just like this. I'm probably going to end up using more foam so that we can make it higher over here to look like it's connecting to all the ribs. But for now, this is good. Squeezing it like that. It's gonna be rather wonky right now until it completely dries. And what I like to do also is squeeze it a little bit, just like that. It'll give it some nicer details, just like that. You can really mold this and just keep playing with it for a few minutes. And then we'll stop now and we'll let that dry. 
And if we need to add more, we'll come back later with more foam, add it and redo the process. But so far we're looking amazing. All right, so I wanna show you something that I'm doing to the legs slash stems of this pumpkin. I've added this wire. I've just pushed it inside very easily. This is about two feet long. We have some tape. What we're doing is attaching the tape on the bottom, right along the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna get it as much on the center as possible. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Loctite foam on top. And just like this, we follow it just like that. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. We want to make it thicker up here and then put some over here. So what we're going to do is these are going to be little offshoots and we'll let it rest after we've sprayed it for three minutes. Spray it with water. Make sure you really get it nice and wet on all areas. And look what I've done. I've added several of them. And all we're doing is pushing the wire inside and then we're putting tape just like that. And then we're putting the Loctite on it, spraying it with water. And then after three minutes, we're molding it. These will be perfect little offshoots. So this is something extra that I'm doing that you don't have to do, but I'm using some foam clay just to give the eyes a little bit more of a menacing look. They sell it in little containers like this. It takes 24 to 48 hours for it to fully harden, but it's non toxic and I actually really, really love it. It's super easy to use Put it like that. And then you start molding it to whatever you want. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to be using toothpicks. I get the toothpicks and we're going to use the toothpicks as anchors just to give it that raised look. Once it dries, then we'll be able to paint it the same color of the pumpkin. But like I said, totally optional. I just think it'll look cool. All right, so here's my foam clay. And all I'm doing, as you can see, look at all the toothpicks. I'm pushing it into the toothpicks just like that and that's gonna anchor it. Then we can start molding it like this, making it a little bit of a sharp edge that gradually goes up. And then we start packing it down like this. To finish off the walking pumpkin, I have these leaves, these fake leaves that I got on Amazon, and I've cut the stem off because they had a pretty long stem and we're simply going to push them into the branches of the walking pumpkin. I think it's gonna look really nice. You don't have to do this part here, but I think it just adds a nice little feature, a little extra detail to it. So we're going to use some hot glue and then push it into the foam and we'll be done with it.